Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and doing everything we can, ladies, to hold on to our pretty. It's about getting dressed and looking our very best. Get up, get dressed, and look your very, very best. And I always, as always, welcome back to my returning subscribers. You know I love you, I thank you, and I do appreciate you. All right, ladies, I know you're sitting there going, her hair is down. What's going on? Her hair is down. My hair is down. I just wanted to take a, take a moment to share with you why I don't wear it down. Because it is so thin and it gets thinner every day. But I'm, uh, I wanted to just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just an open book to you, you know, for you, to you. But this is how it looks, and I'm about to put it up for this, for today's video. But I thought I'd take a second and share it with the ladies that this is it. This is it's long, it's nice, <clears throat> and I used to have the thickest hair. It would have been out to here, but we all know those stories. But it is so thin on top, ladies. There's just nothing there, and if it hangs down, it'll separate and just be straggly, you know. So, of course, I'm going to put it up, but I wanted to show you it grows nicely. It's wonderful, but it's, you know, and I've done Nutrafol. I did Nutrafol for about six months. Nothing. Nothing. I now am using New Lastin Serum. I left it in there. I put it on the scalp. I'm on my second bottle. Still nothing. You know, it's just, it is what it is. And when I think of my mother and my aunts, the family, I can look at them and tell this is it's it's a genetic thing that's going on, and I just have to work with it. My mom and my my beautiful aunts, they all just cut their hair off. They all had this beautiful, luscious, long hair in their youth, but they got older, it's just cut off real close, and it just laid so nice. I don't even have enough volume in the top. If if I had the volume in the top, I would have it cut off. Even with these funny ears of mine, I'd still have it cut off. So I am going to put it up for the video today. But, you know, let me, how many times have I said but? I apologize. Moving right along, anyway, on my lips, I have, it's a dark red. I hope it's not too dark for the season. But I, I thought I'd, I said but again, sorry. I thought I'd pull out my Chanel. I love this Chanel. You see how much I've used. You can look at it and see. And this is called Daring Red. This is the one where you get the, the lip color on one end and you get this glossy gloss on the other. Once you when you put the lip color on, it'll it'll dry. It'll just look matte. And then you put that, that lacquer on and you've got this shiny, shiny kissable lips that won't transfer. You can drink out of something. It won't transfer. It was one of the greatest things to wear when we all had to wear masks. These. So I will list her. You at least should have one tube of this. I think I have about six. But you should have at least one of these in your wardrobe. If you've got a dinner to go to and you know you want to look nice the whole evening. You won't have to touch up your lipstick and you can eat and still look nice. Dab and still look very, you know, classy, simple, and pretty. Um... This is, this is the thing to get. On my nails, of course, they're naked again. But I did get the Dermalec in. Let me show you. I got all these little bottles of Dermalec. <laughs> I got like... Um, this is the uh, top coat, I think. Yeah, that's just the top coat. This is some kind of targeted Phyto Strong uh, plant-based nail hardener. And then I have on this color right here. It's kind of a beige. And there's a pinky tone. So, But one thing I did notice. They have a base coat too. One of these is a base coat. I noticed that it felt good when I put it on my nails. And they sent a sample of a nail re polish remover. It's a cloth. And it was kind of an oily base. And, it, you know, to take the polish off. And I've noticed when, you know, you ever notice when you take polish off your regular nails, it always feels so dry, all that acetone and stuff. What I like about this is all the plant base and the naturalness, and that may have been what was drying my nail beds out so profusely. So we'll see how this works. 
you know, even though I'd rather have you know me, I want some white nails, I want some blue nails, I want some green nails, you know, I want my pale pink nails, but I'll, I think if I just wait and be patient a little bit and let them kind of heal and see what they're going to do. So Dermalec, I will uh, list a uh, link to Dermalec so you can check it out yourself and read about the Dermalec products. I think they're worth, worth getting. We'll see. And I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers who were so helpful. I got some zinc, ladies. Thank you. I've been taking it. And I uh, want to thank you for the, the suggestions to go to Amazon for the nail treatments. I have a couple of them in my cart. Because if this stuff doesn't work, that's what I'm going to do and start getting it. Because it's all about getting the moisture back into I think you get older too. Things, Everything dries up. The hair scalp dries up so the hair falls out. Your skin dries up so you get more wrinkles. and So your nails get dry and everything. So it's all about moisture. I guess that's why you, you've, I know you've seen the ads for the Bobbi Brown. That creamy stuff she has. The, something that you put on. I keep saying I'm going to try that Jones stuff. Anyway. I'm off topic here. <laughs> the whole thing is thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me out. And one more thank you. I'm going to show you. Uh, here she is. I kept her, ladies. Just for you, I kept the Dune bag. So, and I got to read about Dune of London. That's nice stuff. Nice little things in there. Dune even had some sandals and stuff. So I'm going to check out Dune for Lon of London because... They're not too pricey, but it's well made. It's a good quality bag and oh, really nice. So I'm going to keep this this big ring bag. And you guys, I better be able to style her come the fall. I may even style her this summer with all white. I think she would pop with all white, you know, for a casual afternoon with the girls or something. So I kept that, ladies. Um, so now I think we need to move to topic of the day. Topic of the day. This week, I had a ball putting this together for you. I'm calling it Dress to Impress Yourself. I want you to dress to impress you. I think that sometimes we people think you dress for other people or what have you. No, I always dress for me. But this week, I thought, let's, let's amp it up and dress to impress yourself. Remember that, ladies. This is all about dressing to impress yourself. So I, I, um, I know I had the casual looks. The last two videos we've been kind of dressy casual and casual. So I thought it was time to dress up. It's time to put on some pieces. And remember that fashion story I've been telling you that I was going to share with you. And it's, it has to do with what I'm using today. And it, it really wasn't. It, I'm over it now. I think when it first happened... I was like, oh my God. So it's all about, remember the green blazer, the celery green blazer. You'll see it in the first look that I do. And I ordered the white one because you guys said, yes, get the white. And uh, maybe I'll put a picture of me in the white. Um, but in the, in the celery, I'll put a picture up to remind you. But I ordered the pants to go with it. And I ordered the white pants and the green pants. They came. And I ordered them in an eight. I could barely get them up over my butt. I got them on, but they were so tight. I was like, ah! So I got online, went back to banana. I said, well, I'll order them in a 10. You know, I don't care what size, as long as they fit. Because they're slender. They were all out of the 10 longs. No more longs. I was depressed for a couple of days. I folded them up. I said, I guess I'll just take them back. I'll just have, you know, the... Uh, the jackets and and I thought about it thought about it I said no you got to stop eating so much you need to lose some pounds so you're gonna wear these pants because I all I could see were these beautiful pants suits that needed to be in my wardrobe for when something comes up at last minute and you don't have to go shopping it was like you cannot leave this on the table the fact that you could have two great pants suits so I kept them I put the pants in it away. I laid them there, you know. A couple of weeks went by. I put them on and I can sip them a little better. They're still snug. But I, I'm trying to, you know, work on. Because I had, I had gained. I was just 
flipping, flipping out. So I lost a couple of pounds. So you're going to see them today. They're still snug, but I'm going to show them to you today. And before I, I got all, all talking about the topic and everything, I forgot to uh, show you what we wore to church yesterday. We did go to church yesterday. So I will uh, pop that up, picture of, of me and us, whatever. We went to church. It was, you know, I know they've got a heat wave going on all across the country. St. Louis, even today, it's in the 60s, supposed to get up to 70s, so it's beautiful. And yesterday, you ever have in mind what you're going to wear, and you wake up and the weather's doing another thing, and you go, I can't wear that. So the last minute yesterday morning, I had to find me something else to put on because it was in the 60s. I said, I need long sleeves. I need a jacket. <laughs> you know. So I switched to, to a, a blazer and a blouse and a skirt, and you'll see it, and you, you'll, you'll, see it, you'll see what I had on. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. That's my life. Anyway, I, I meant to do that. But back to where we're going with this video this week. Sorry, I'm all out. I'm all out of order. But that's me and that's life sometimes, right, lady? We get a little, ladies, we get a little out of order. So I am going to fix my hair because you know it's, I got to put it up. I'm going to fix my hair, get dressed and show you the first look and I'm like ladies uh, get your beverage of choice relax if you're on break at work sit back you know if you're eating your lunch you know get your little snack because just be prepared to be wild and I am going to dress to impress myself and maybe I'll impress you too all right ladies I'll be right back I'm gonna have to warn you ladies that every look and this video is a finale look. What about this celery green? Look at her, look at her. I just want to give you a moment. Take it all in. Take it all in. <laughs> this celery green is beautiful. Beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Mm, mm, mm. All right, ladies, what do you think? This is fantastic this is what i say dress to impress yourself dress to impress yourself look how it's the button the pants the bag i got all my silver accessories sparkly sparkly shiny shiny what have you i have my heart diamond necklace my anniversary from my husband anniversary gift some oh, earrings i've got from dillard's you know we love rhinestones, right ladies? Bracelets, bracelets, you know. A special cute little mango silver bag. I got this during the holidays. I showed you this, I think in December probably because I have those, those silver faux leather jeans by Mango. But look at this green. Look at this green. On my feet, I have on Vince Camuto silver pumps. They're just like the uh, coconut cream ones and just like the uh, black suede ones. These in the silver. I've got the silver bag. Everything's going on. What do you think? How about it, ladies? <laughs> She's dressed. She's dressed. Now, let me share with you this top. I know you're probably looking like, what's up under there? I see shiny, sparkly up under there. <laughs> And you know I love this asymmetrical button of this jacket, but you can wear it. It falls freely really well. If you just want to wear it like that, it is so easy to wear it like that. So easy to just put on and step out. It's a long, it's almost like a walking coat length, you know, that great length. You've got the pants, okay, but this top, it's a top from Talbot's. I got recently. Look at her. Look at that. Look at that top. Look at that top, ladies. Look at that top. It's very lightweight. It's that, I don't know what this fabric is. It's some kind of cotton, but it's got this shimmer in there. I thought, I got to have this because I can use this for the holidays too and to go under stuff. But it goes great with this silver, with this celery. Now, here are the pants. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Be sympathetic, if anything. These are the pants that are, you see how they're pulling here? 
because, you know, my body's saying, you know, you need to lose a little more. So I need to lose a little more. But I got them on, you know. I got them on. I didn't undo the pockets yet. You know how that comes. Take that. They're going to pop open. But I've got this pulling here. But when I tell you, when I got them at first, and I was like, <laughs> I need a 10. And then they didn't have the 10s, which I'm glad. I'm going to work with the 8s because even these are a little big back here. But that's because... They're pulled all the way up. My waist is small. But this, we're working on it. We're getting there. And in the meanwhile, put the jacket on. <laughs> How many times have you worn somewhere you say, well, if I put the jacket on, no one will know. If I have to, if it's too big and I can pin it in the back, I put my jacket on. No one will know. If it's too little and it's kind of open in the back, I put the jacket on. No one will know. We all do that, don't we, ladies? <laughs> we all have, have moments where, well, as long as I keep the jacket on, I'm all right. So, look at this, ladies. Is this not just gorgeous? Is this not eye-catchingly beautiful, excellent? You know, and it's got that little opalescent pearl button there. But I thought playing the silvers with this is just a great way of showing it. A great way of, wow, look, look. And the little silver bag. You know, I need another, another silver bag set. When I find one, I will get one. But in the meantime, we're going to work with this mango bag. So what I'm going to do with this outfit, I wanted to show it like this, to show that if you get this, you've got a great pantsuit, you've got a great piece in your wardrobe that you can uh, pull out some come up. Oh, I've got that wedding to so-and-so's daughter's getting married at this big church, what I wear. You put this on. You put this on and you are comfortable and you are you walk in there and it's like wow you won't upstage the bride but you'll do your own upstaging right so simple pieces simple classic pretty your fashion your style your age and your choice do it with the rhinestones so I'm going to keep the jacket on and I'm going to style style it with a skirt each pantsuit I want to do it with the as a pantsuit and how I can wear the jacket with something which you've seen me do this jacket before but maybe you get a load of that white one but coming up next will be the green green done with some other pieces in my wardrobe all right we got Banana Republic we got Mango we've got Talbot and we've got Vince Camuto a winning combination I'd say right ladies I'll be back with the next look for you Here we go, ladies. Look number two. I put on a skirt this time with the jacket. Look at that. I kept the top on. I put on, this is a Banana Republic skirt I bought back during, I think, December, during the holidays. It's because miles and miles of pleats. Miles and miles of pleats. And this is called gunmetal, whatever that color means. It's just called gunmetal. So it's kind of hard to match. It's got brown in it. It's got a silver tone. So I kept the silver shoes on, kept the silver top on, added the jacket and kept the bag and changed the jewelry up. I put some earrings on that have a little bit of, got a little bit of bronze in there to kind of pick up on the skirt. Changed the brick to my two bangles that match. Always buy two ladies, always buy two. And uh, let's see that, put on my ring. This ring is from Ann Taylor from probably 11 years ago, that long, really a long time ago. But I love it, I pull it out every now and then. And the mango bag still works. And I got that on, and I can be the life of the party. Now this one, she can go to the party. Hey, 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 you know, listen to the music, have fun, and still be, what they say? Dress to impress. I think they still list this skirt on Banana. I know they have a lighter color one and I need to get that one. It's so much a Banana. I could go on and on and on and on and on. But again, this jacket, imagine taking it out, doing things. I took the flower off this time because I want it to be a little more evening. You know, I've got the heart sparkling. I've got that sparkling. I've got that. Let's put this down right here. With the jacket, you got to get one of these asymmetrical jackets, ladies. Oh, and I, I know that I think H&M does a, a asymmetrical 
jacket I seen. But a lot of times the H and M is so big, or so it just doesn't work for me. But this one works. And see, all I got on is just this skirt and blouse under here. Skirt and blouse under here really works well. And she swings and she sways. <laughs> You know, and I have been looking for the perfect top to wear with this skirt, so I think this would be the perfect top to wear with this skirt. Mm -hmm. I love this top, ladies. I will list her. Look at that. I mean, imagine this with even all white. You put this top on with your white outfit or with a solid black outfit. The silver would really, really pop. So check it out, ladies. Check out Talbot's. I love it on this top, as you can tell. Okay, we got the celery green and the silver out of the way. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do two looks with the white pantsuit because it's luscious, luscious, luscious with the white pantsuit. We'll do that one. But, gotta get this, ladies. You gotta get this. She is fantastic. Woo! I feel pretty. What's that old song? I feel pretty. <laughs> Look at me. Okay. When you put on something that makes you feel this good, ladies, you're confident. You will, you will, you know, walk in the room and and you own the room. Room doesn't own you, you own the room. So you put on your pieces, you dress to impress yourself. So I always say, your fashion, your style, your age. Classic, simple. And oh, so pretty. I will be back with the next look. We're going to have fun. Woo -hoo -hoo. I love a long jacket. I'm so glad it's long. Look at that. Mm. I could just stand here and just list the accolades of this beautiful blazer. Just the cut of it. Just the design and the, the way it lays and the way it falls and the shoulders and uh, the fabric. <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, I'll be back. <laughs> you can be a dream in cream, ladies. All right, a dream in cream. This is the white. This is the white. Is it not so luscious, too? Man, look at that. I'm always trying to just. I have on. Uh, I am impressing myself with this. This is the white I put on. I have two different earrings on, so I'll let you decide. Do I want this one that it hangs down really low and it kind of hits? If, if, if I have the jacket off, it hits the necklace. But I like that one too. But then if I wanted it to be freer and not drive me crazy all night, I'd wear this earring. So I put both on and let you decide which earring do you like. <laughs> this is Vivian Westwood, Amazon. It's a dupe. I love this. Love, love, love this necklace. Love, love, love my Vivian Westwood dupe. Okay, that. I put a flower here. I pulled out Michael. I got all my costume jewelry from Ann Taylor, of course. Two cuffs I got a while back at Dillard's. Like I said, I always buy two, ladies. I always buy two. <sighs> Look at that. On my feet. I think I got these sandals last summer or summer before last. Franco Sardo, I think. Yes. Nice. They've got all the cushion. Oh, they don't have them anymore, but great little comfortable heel. Really nice. Really, really nice. Really nice. Really nice. With my gold Michael bag. <laughs> and I just thought I'd do gold. I did silver with the with the celery, so I'll do a little gold with the cream. But look at this ladies. I'm telling you, you just, you can walk in and stand there and the room will turn. Wow. Oh, they'll be speechless. They'll be speechless. You could put a great hat on with this. Imagine it. Great hat. Put it on. And now, mind you, I think this jacket fits me better than the green jacket. I don't know, it's cut a little looser or something. Softer feeling, but oh, so precious. So precious. So precious. So precious. So precious. What do you do? You know, like say, I am wowing myself. And let me show you what I have on with the pants. Of course, you know I need to lose weight to really wear the pants comfortably. But here they are. And here is the jacket. Button. Well, let's unbutton her. 
even in a bun like that, it's not bad. See how that's why it's cut so that you have to pull it over for that. We've got the double breasted. Let me get this open for you. There you go. Underneath, I just have on a tank top. It's nice. I can wash it. I have two of these. I have a black one and I have this cream color one that I bought from Ann Taylor probably 10 years ago. I have kept them. It has a little longer part hang down. Little slits on the side. So it goes great with this look. Let's keep it all monochromatic like. You always you know you can find something in your closet that will still work with something new. Something old, something new. <laughs> So here we go, ladies. Look at this. I mean, I am. It's like, wow. Look at that. She hangs well. She falls well. Don't sleep on these jackets. Do not sleep on getting this blazer. I think they have the 30% off uh, for card holders right now, of course. Yeah, so, and I got my both my jackets are six. In case you want, both my jackets are size six. They fit nice, they fall nice, shoulders fit good. You know, I just love, love, love this. <laughs> and, and you can go to the function and you can be comfortable. Though, you know, always in white, you're like, mm -mm, wait, nope, nope, I'm not eating the greasy stuff, no. You're gonna eat salad <laughs> with little or no dressing. You're gonna, you know, eat carrots and celery and maybe a little fruit and have your beverage. You're not gonna sit there and gnaw on a chicken wing. I don't eat chicken wings out anyway if I'm dressed up, I'm sorry. You're not gonna, you know, if you got something you can cut up, nice, nice, nice. So, how do you like this look, ladies? You think you could just step out, step up and step out? Hey, be the belle of the ball, dressed to impress yourself if nobody else you dress to impress you your fashion your style your age and always your choice all right i got one more look i'm going to do with this blazer to show you put it with i have a, a dress it's an old dress from banana republic never worn it i think it's probably almost five years old well, at least four almost four years old because i yeah i think about maybe three or four years old, haven't worn it. It was kind of big on me at one time. It's not big now, okay? Let's just say that. But I think it'll work with this jacket. I want to show you that kind of toned down look with the cream. I don't know why my hand is doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hand. Crazy, crazy. So I'll put on, maybe I'll change the earrings. Put on a shorter earring, maybe? Because this dangling one, I don't know. I think this one, will work better with. So you'll see. I'll be right back with that. Another finale. I mean, this is a, a, a video of all finales. That's what I'm going to call it. It's all finales. All finales. All for you. I'll be back. Lights, camera, action. Be the wedding guest. Be, be the uh, lady in cream again when you're playing with the creams it's so much fun to just blend them and and monochrome them and this is an old dress from banana republic i have never worn still got the tag in the back and it's itching me right now it's sleeveless it's very sheer at the bottom it's got the little nice lightweight bottom and i put on my choker I put kept the uh put the mate to the shorter earring on little pearls you know just pearls 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 took the flower off and I uh, pulled out you know this bag I showed you last week that can't find but I found one almost exactly like it by Landry I listed that so check that out though it's not it, this was $26 this was a bargain and even though she's white white the pearls pick up the cream in the dress I also have this bag this is a Landry bag I got last summer and I just noticed it's kind of fading out. I don't know if it's made that way, but she's beautiful with the pearl on, pearls on top. She's satin to the touch. I haven't carried her, so I don't know why she's trying to change colors on me, but she's beautiful. So either one would work because we have the pearls. You wanted to tone it down some with this bag. Mm. 
or brighten it up with this bag. Mm, mm, mm. You have choices. Always have choices, ladies. It's so great to have choices. And I think either one of these would work. Uh, let me show you the shoes. Let me sit these down. I found these shoes last year really cheap. They're by Ink, I-N-C, at Macy's. But they're perfect for this dress or for a wedding. They've got the zip in the back, the block heel, and they've got pearls. Just covered in pearls. The heel is covered in pearls. The straps are covered in pearls. Just a nice little pearl shoe for weddings or showers or something fancy and you need it on. You know, sometimes you have to grab those things thinking, where am I going to wear this? But get them anyway, ladies, especially if they're marked down for you in a reasonable price. Get it anyway, like I did with that little white bag. Got it anyway. But this is just simple. Goes over this. I mean, you can put it over a skirt. And I'll show you the dress. I think I left the... There was a little skinny tie that went with the dress. I think I left it in the other room. I should get it for you. But here's the dress. I want a pink brow mine. It's just sleeveless. Just a sleeveless dress. Keyhole opening. Just a shift. Like that. Put it on. Put it under the jacket. And you're the perfect wedding guest. You could even be the bride. Push come to show. You could get married in this. So ladies. I think I created lovely dress to impress yourself looks. Always do that. Dress to impress you first. And impress you first. And if anybody else doesn't get impressed, at least when you left the house, you was impressed, right? And it's all that matters. It's all about you. You matter. That's right. Okay. I got a finale coming up, even though I felt like all of these are a finale. But I got one new piece, a skirt, that's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind. I, <laughs> and I started to do two looks. I'm going to do one with you, with, for you, to show you, and I will get to doing more. I just realized I took my rings off when I was in there redoing my hair. So, ladies, um, I want to thank you for staying this long in the video. And I know, I hope I gave you some ideas on how to pull together some looks to dress up and not spend a big bucks if you don't have to. And to always be ready. You know, when you stay ready, you never have to get ready. So just stay ready and say, oh, we're going where? Where we got to go? Oh, let me check my class. Ah, got it. I may have to go out and get a pair of earrings or a pin or a flower or some little thing, but I've got the basics. And when you've got the basics, you're good to go. You are ready, ready, ready. So if you like content like this, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, come back and see me. You know I'm here every Thursday, every Thursday. And I'm going to put on the uh, finale finale, I call it, the finale finale look. But I'm going to have to put some spanks on for that look. And believe me, I'm going to have to be snatched. And uh, you will see when I get back with that. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. I love playing dress up. Love, love, love dressing up for you. Love, love, love dressing up for you. Okay. Again. Pick your bags, what you want. I mean, if you wanted to add a little contrast, if you wanted to keep it bright and white, you could do this. So, can't go wrong. <laughs> anyway, ladies, I'll be right back with the finale finale. That's right, the finale of all finales. Let's put it that way. Be back. This is another one of those. Let me give you a moment. Let me give you a minute to take it all in. To take it all in, ladies. <laughs> okay. Finale. Is this a finale? And it's all about this skirt, ladies. It's all about this Antonio Milani skirt. <sighs> this skirt. Check her out. 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 And if you believe it or not, 
This is in an Antonio Milani blouse I've had for two summers. Last summer I did this. I have a black one just like this. I love this blouse. I bought them when they had them on sale at Dillard's. Look at that blouse with those pleats and the peplum. Mm, mm, mm. It's got a little white part. I didn't pull it down good. A little part like that. It's lined. It zips up the back. With this. The, zip is, the zip is silver, but I don't care. But look at this skirt, ladies. Look at this skirt. Is she like hugging in all the right places? Is she not glorious? If she not oh Hollywood? Uh huh. See, my nails need to be fire red with this, right? Mm. And if you notice, oh, these earrings, I've had a million years. I think I got them at, I don't even know, Ann Taylor, Banana. I think Ann Taylor probably, I don't know, they're gorgeous. Or maybe Dillard's, who knows? They've been around for a long time, like this ring and my little pearl cuffs and this little tiny bag that is worthless. I've had her for so long before we were wearing, carrying cell phones everywhere because nothing fits in here but a tube of lipstick, a compact maybe, some money. But she's so cute with the little stones. She's just so perfect. Though they are bringing back all the mini bags now, so I probably could. But let me show you. Let me tell you about this skirt. When, when I was a little girl, <laughs> I loved Barbie. I had the most beautiful Barbie dolls, and my grandmother would make my Barbie doll clothes. And one of the outfits she made for my Barbie was a strapless black evening gown that was like this and had that bottom. And she had appliqued, she had sewn on a rose right there on that black velvet dress that she made for my Barbie. So I thought, I thought in homage to Grandma, she was such a lady, I put the red rose here and put my red on my feet, my seven or nine red, red velvet cake, pota swipe, pointed toe shoes, perfect. And if you notice the bottom of the skirt, ladies, it has netting under the bottom there. Under the bottom there, it has lining and a netting. It's that not gorgeous. It's that not, when I tell you Antonio can, can make an outfit, can put together pieces, and it's got a little stretch in it, now mind you, I had to get a size 10. I had an eight and it was pulling, pulling, tugging, tugging. I said, no, and then I, again, I went back online, I said, and I went to order the eight, I mean the 10, and they were on sale. Because it was 199, and then when I went back to order in the 10, it was 119. So they're 119 right now at Dillard's. Check it out, I will link her. You need to have her in your wardrobe. Something come up. Mm. How about this for finale? I even started to uh, do another look with this where I put the blouse in like the Aunt uh, Carolina Herrera and try to tone it like that. But I think there should be nothing after this. There's nothing else I can do to this look to top it. <laughs> you know, and usually when I wear this, a lot of times I wear this top, I'll put a big flower right here. But I think putting the flower down there, genius. I thank you, mama. Thank you, Grandma, for that. Look at this. Look at this. Mind you, under here, I got on some Honey, Le Honey Love sh Shaper that's snatching the sister in. So when you wear this, be sure to have your foundation on. You don't want an extra roll or anything. You want it to fall smooth and, if possible, lift up a, a little bit, you know, and hold that part in. You want it to... It's all about, sometimes it's about your foundation. So you, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You know, I got a mirror right here. I got a mirror over there. I'm trying to like watch what I'm doing when I'm talking to you and keep it nice. You know, and she will look good even with just my black, some black pumps. Would be really nice. And if I wanted to, because I still have it in here, if I wanted to break up the black, you know, I could still carry this bag. Could easily carry this bag with this look too. Because it's such a bright white. Because telling you, I gotta get a new black evening bag. That's gonna be my next thing to buy. A black one that's bigger than this. But she's so cute. When you carry her, you gotta like carry another purse to put your phone in and other things. Your glasses. You know, at 72, you gotta have your eyeglasses. <laughs> you gotta have a lot of things. And it won't fit in here. This is just cute. Cute, 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 but I keep her because I, I love her.
I got it years ago at Dillard's, but I think the white would go. The black just keeps it so elegant. It looks like when you see uh, on the um, on E when they're talking to the movie stores, a lot of them will have this little tiny bag that nothing can fit in, but it's just so adorable, so cute. So cute. You're just walking like this and you can hold your cocktail in one hand. <laughs> All right, ladies. Finale is done. It's been a wonderful adventure. It's been fantastic dressing up for you. It was time to dress up. Every now and then, you know, we need a touch of dress up. So now remember, if you're shorter, this is going to be really long. I'm 5'8", perfect month for me. So if you're 5'8", even five seven, you put some high heels on and get by with it. But look at that. Look at that. I, I, I could just look at myself. Like I said, this was all about dressing to impress yourself. Impress you. Put on your pieces and, and impress you. And be for real now. Don't impress you. You're thinking you left the house and people go, what, what do you have on? You know, put your foundations on. Put your your uh, blazers on, if, you know, everybody's body is different and if you feel more comfortable, I don't feel comfortable having everything hanging out. I just don't. You know, I feel comfortable with a blazer on or a high waist tucked in, full skirt, and when it's something tight like this, having, now mind you, I didn't even tell you, with this skirt there is a top. It's strapless, I think, I think it has a little tie or something. It's strapless and it has a, a a peplum on it that's longer than this and it's in black and it's in the same fabric. And I thought about that. I said, no, I'm gonna, I got the tops I can wear with it already. I got that. I like this better. Because then it's unique. It's, it's totally my look. No one else will have this. But ladies, what do you think about that flower down there? That was ingenious, right? Nobody else will have it with the flower on it for sure. Just a little flower pen to pick that up. Thank you, Mama. That's what called my grandma mama, you know. She did that. She had she had style. She had style. And she left me with a little bit of it. So I hope you enjoyed this week. I had a ball as usual. I had a fantastic time playing dress up and getting dressed up and I may have to go downstairs and show my husband this look because I'm sure he will appreciate it. <laughs> So if we go somewhere special, I can put this on and he's going to go, yeah. Sometimes he, he, he makes my heart smile because I can get dressed when we're going out and he'll just look at me with a certain look and he's just like, I, I know he'll be proud to have me on his arm, you know. So that's a good feeling, you know, that your, your man likes what you have on and thinks you look great, though sometimes they think you look great all the time. And you go, no, honey, not that. But, I can see it in his in his face sometimes when I put certain things on. He go, okay, all right, <laughs> you know. So, what do we do here, ladies? We leave a little kindness everywhere we go. Come back see me next week. We're gonna be a little more casual. But we're gonna have fun, and I enjoy putting these looks together for you. You know, check out the pencils at Banana. Try to grab you some, or the jacket, the blazer, whatever suits your fancy. And get on Dillard's right now. Click on this link below and see if they have some skirts left. They have them online. So they're like $119, it was $199. So that's a nice little little sale. Get you one if you're you know able to wear and you need it. It'll go into the winter. Imagine this in the winter. You can put a cashmere sweater on with this and drape it, V-neck or something like that. Put that on, put on some different, put some solid pumps on, take the flower off. You got to look. Put a silky blouse on with it. And later I may show it with a blouse for you to give you an idea. Put a blouse on with it, even with a belt and some pumps. And you're dressed, super dressed, but nice. And no one else will have your stuff on. No one else will do that. So it's the perfect skirt. And Sharon. Sharon of Ageless Restyling, you know you would rock this skirt. I can see your perfect body in this skirt, hugging in all the right places, and you put on those tall shoes. Oh, you should have this skirt, Sharon. You should have this skirt. It's got the split in the back. It zips up the back. It's got a little bit of stretch in it. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. And I will see you next week, ladies. 
Bye.